Hey guys, welcome back. This one is actually, uh, I promised you guys a, a earlier video based on my Wemo mini smart plug that I actually have the video of actually how to set it up. Uh, this is actually the app of using it. And in that video, I promised you guys how that I'd do a video of the actual uh, app. So right here you can see I've already got it hooked up. I've got the Wemo mini smart plug um, by Belkin. Uh, it's in my laundry room. We've got a, a lamp hooked up to it. So I just called it laundry. If you wanted to change that name, you go to that top right corner of the pencil and you'd be able to just click that and name it whatever you want. You could you obviously got the picture. You could have the reset options, uh, save and cancel. So obviously if I wanted to control this uh, anywhere in the world, I could leave my house and go anywhere and literally just press it and you can see the green, it's currently turned on. If I want to turn it off, I turn it off right there. I can control it, do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, the one thing that I actually like the most is that it controls through my Amazon Alexa. So I just you know say, hey Alexa, turn on laundry. And it turns on, off, um, all that great stuff. So it not only does this smart plug just work through the app and that you can control it manually, you can work it through your Amazon Alexa. You can come down here in the rules. This is the one thing I promised you guys in the video that I wanted to show you. You can set up rules. So you can set up a schedule or an auto, uh, auto on or off timer. Um, you know, so for example, you know, if we travel around, you know, for the holidays or something, you know, I can turn it on and off uh, manually, but sometimes you obviously you forget all the time. So it'd be nice to actually set a schedule, uh, an auto timer. So let's hit the schedule. So again, this isn't just, Hey, I want it on and off at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. daily. You come in here, you can tell it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you could, you could make a random schedule because obviously you don't want it coming on if you're, if you're not there and you want it for security reasons. You don't just want it to come around and, and look like it's on a schedule because then people would, you know, can, can pick that up if they're, you know, let's say they're eyeballing the house or if they're, they're anybody that's around. So, um, you know, so if you you live in a neighborhood like I do that's under construction all the time right now, um, you just have all these in contractors coming in and out, you know, that, that can keep an eye on houses. So, you know, the, it, it's nice to, to mess with that schedule to make it look like your home. Um, so, you know, maybe make it a random Monday, Thursday, you know, Friday. Uh, come in here, you can tell it a time at 12. You know, let's say let's say we want it on at... Uh, 7 p.m. and hit done. Boom. Now we're set, ready to go. Yeah. Uh, again, you could. Uh, that was the off time. So um, let's actually set that to 6 p.m. and to turn off. At, make it. Let's make it look like you're maybe going to bed at midnight or something like that. Again, you don't. You don't. You, you know, you can leave it on all night. Um, you don't want it to look like you're constantly always going to bed either, though, because then people know. You know, they they can pick up on that stuff. So um, that's a great little feature right there. You so you'd hit done. And you can see we've got when on at 6 p.m. off at 12 midnight Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and you, of course you can come come name this um, leaving you know or not home or you can save it to whatever you want. So that's a really cool feature. Um, uh, but yeah, that's great, absolutely awesome. So let's go back and let's say and we'll, go, we'll use the auto off timer. So you can uh, obviously set it for a minute. 5, 10, 15, 30, 45, an hour, or you can set it to a custom. So you could say, let's say I want it to turn on for three hours and 15 minutes. All. So this could be where, you know, if you wanted to create a new rule and the other one to maybe make it on the opposite days that you already don't have, you could come in here and just kind of maybe do it on a, on a Friday and a Wednesday, just random times again. And you had, you know, it, it would say all day. So yeah, anyway, so it's it's all day, Monday, Tuesday, third. Actually, so when you were actually hitting a custom in the, the days that you were hitting, those um, those are the days you're turning off. So that's Friday is currently the one that's off. So everything that's in bright green is, is actually on. Uh, I should have caught that in the other one, but I did not. Uh, but again, you can name this rule whatever you want. Uh, so you go ahead and hit that save if you wanted. Uh, and in away mode. So you could turn it, you know, this one's just like what we did earlier, but you could actually just come in here and make it actually away. And again, set it to you know, whatever time you want. You could set it to, uh, looks like they have up here, you have sunrise and sunset. That's a really cool feature. So obviously you can see what my sun sets today at 6 p.m. and my sunrise at 7.52 a.m. So that's really cool feature. I mean, 
you know, you don't have to go into the weather app and, and see when the sunrise and sunsets. They've already got it programmed out of here, uh, right here. So you can hit sunset. Let's do 15 minutes before the sun sets and we'll turn it off at exactly sunrise. Boom. That's awesome. That is probably the best uh, feature you could ask. So we, I click that what is away. So away mode turns devices on and off to give the appearance that someone is home. Devices will go on and off at different times, but always for at least 30 minutes. That's awesome. That's the one I just needed to pick up. I was kind of wondering, oh, I thought you were gonna go ahead and set it uh, to away, but no, this is actually designated for going away and it's going to randomly, uh, it looked like, you could set it to a timer or whatnot, but it does say that devices will go on and off at different times. So it looks like that would be a little random. So um, I'm new to this part of the feature, so I'll definitely look into it a little bit more, but that that's really awesome. So anyway, you can see some other things uh, that, that aren't on mine, whether it be usage or motion. Uh, you could hit this more and you could, um, you know, obviously remote access is enabled. You could forget the device if you wanted to and connect to smart home partners. So obviously, like I said, you have Amazon Alexa, the Google Assistant, Apple Home app, the Nest thermostat, and if this, then that. Uh, so that's really cool. You could hook it up with your Nest if you wanted to as well. And uh, again, just uh, being a nice little smart home setup, uh, this app is really well done. Uh, some of them haven't always been that greatest, um, but this one's really easy to hook up to. You just plug, obviously, your Wemo into the wall and hit the power button. Go into your uh, settings. If you want to watch how my video, how to actually set it up, I've got the instruction manual on there. You can pause it, read it if it, if it doesn't make sense in the video, and hook these up, and it'll show up right here in the app. So you can see all this space that I've got. I could I could throw up a... Uh, you know, a kitchen or a bedroom lamp or an upstairs lamp. Uh, so you can have all these Wemos connected uh, and turn them on and off, set, set all those uh, rules to each one and just totally make it look like random people are home. So uh, another great feature, you know, if you spend a lot of time traveling on our way, um, but I love this feature, I love this product. So just wanna show you guys the uh, tutu tutorial, <coughs> excuse me, of the, uh, the Wemo app. So anyway, hope you guys like it. Come back and check my other videos. I do a video a day for a year showing you guys the YouTube process. Can we make it? Can we finally hit those YouTube requirements of a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours? And that's the most toughest part. So please, if you like this video or anything else on my uh, channel, please hit that subscribe button. I could use every one of you guys to, to uh, hit those thresholds before you can even start to monetize uh, with YouTube. So anyway, hope you guys liked it. Come back and check for some more. See you guys.